Welcome to Brown Memorial Church of God in Christ. Located in the beautiful city of Tampa, Florida. Where our pastor is Bishop Matthew Williams, general board member and the jurisdictional credit of Southwestern Florida. Let's have church. Come on and put those hands together. How many of you love Jesus? Is he your Savior? Come on and bless him this morning. I love Jesus. He's my Savior. When storms are raised, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me.
Verses 1 through 8. And the Bible declares, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which hath made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Yes, the book of Psalms was written in the Palestine region as well as the city of Babylon between the years of 1500 and 450 BC. There are 150 books of Psalms and the theme of this great book is Christ, God, the Word of God, God's creations and the suffering and redemption of God's people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The book of Psalms is a collection of prayers and poems, reflections and hymns that focus the true worshipers thoughts on God in praise and adoration. These wonderful poetical writings were penned to great music. So true worshipers and praisers can easily relate to the book of Psalms. For the Bible declares in St. John 4 and 24, it says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The Bible tells us in Psalms 34, one through three, it helps us to understand when it's proper to praise God, hallelujah. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. You ought to praise him right there where you are. Because we're better together. Hallelujah to his name. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, because I thank him for saving me. I thank him for delivering me. I thank him for bringing me through. Hallelujah to his name. My brothers and my sisters, my assignment on today is to simply have you reflect on the goodness of our sovereign God and to encourage you to praise him, hallelujah, just on the mere fact and the undeniable truth 
that whatever you've experienced in life, he kept you through it all. Hallelujah to his name. So for our topic on today, I want to tell you simply is a testimony that God kept us through it all. Come on, reach to a neighbor and just say, neighbor, out of all that I've been through, God kept me through it all. Hallelujah to his name. The 121st book of Psalm gives us three views of God's help toward us. And God is helping the psalmist, hallelujah, that penned this book on today. Hallelujah to his name. We know that David was on the run many times from Saul. Hallelujah to his name. And even if you go back to verse uh, 5, rather, in verses Psalm 120, it tells us in verse 1, it says, In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. How many times have you been in trouble and you had to cry to God? And he heard you. And what only did he do? He delivered my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Verse 6 says, My soul hath long dwelt in him that hateth peace. There's people that we've been around don't mean no good. But God is a keeper. Hallelujah to his name. He says, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. So we must understand, everywhere we go, there will be some trouble. But God is standing by. He's standing by to see over us. He's standing by to deliver us. He's standing by to heal us, to bring us through. Hallelujah to his name. Number one explains how to seek God in verse one for his help. Number two, it explains the source of the help, which is from God. And number three, it explains how God's help is superior over any other source of help. And you find that in verses 6 through 8. As we read verses 1, it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. So point one on today I want to make to you is that God has no limitations when we are in need of his help. Let me say it again. God has no limitations when we are in need of of his help. The psalmist shows no delay or hesitation in seeking God during his troubles and his trials. This tells us in Proverbs 3 and 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. The psalmist shows resoluteness in seeking help from God. So what does it mean to be resolute? It means to be focused. It means to be determined and firm, hallelujah to his name. If we're going to receive help from God, we must be resolute about seeking his help. Although individuals are very resourceful and helpful, we are yet limited with our resources and our ideas. But God has no limitations. His love never fails. He never gets tired of being God. Hallelujah to his name. He is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. God that provides. He is Jehovah Rapha. God that heals. He is Jehovah Nisi. God our banner. He is Jehovah Shalom. God our peace. He is Jehovah Raha. The way my shepherd. Hallelujah. He is Jehovah Tisikanu. Our righteousness. He is Jehovah Shama, The light ever present. There's nobody like God. Hallelujah to his name. So we must further resolve that in our times of trouble and our trials, and even when things appear to be okay, we must still seek God for his direction. For the Bible says in Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Point two on today I want to make Hallelujah, is that we must reflect on God's divine protection. We must protect, we must reflect on God's divine protection. God's constant and unwavering help is so divine. He never goes to sleep while on watch. Hallelujah to his name. God's help is eternal and it is superior. He's omnipotent. Meaning he has unlimited power. He's able to do anything but fail. He's omnipresent. Meaning that he is present everywhere at the same time. 
Psalms 139, 1 through 3 says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. And verse 3 says, Thou compasseth my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. I want to tell you, God knows about you. Yes, Hallelujah to his name. Some may ask, how can one be so sure that this divine protection is for us? Because Galatians 3 and 29 says, if, hallelujah, ye be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you and expect it in. You ought to encourage your neighbor by telling them, I'm so glad that I'm a part of God's plan. Hallelujah to his name. I'm a part of the plan of God. I'm a part of the favor of God, the thoughts of God, the grace of God, the blessings of God. Hallelujah to his name. So let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you've been healed, you ought to say you've been healed. If you've been delivered, you ought to say you've been delivered. If you've been set free, you ought to say I've been set free. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Verse 7 says, the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Hallelujah. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So point three on today as I come to my close, that God is simply the keeper of our soul. Come on, say that with me. God is the keeper of my soul. Hallelujah. There is a holy and divine safeguard over all of our lives. Hallelujah. For the Bible says in St. John 10 and 10, the thief come not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I've come, hallelujah, Jesus is talking, that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I just want to encourage somebody that feels like you are experiencing hallelujah, one of the worst seasons of your life. I know that you're going through. I know that you're hurting. Hallelujah to his name. But trouble don't last always. I came to tell you that God's love and protection never fails. For great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah to his name. Limitations 3, 22 and 23 says, It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Hallelujah. Verse 23 says, They are new every morning, and great is thy faithfulness. Well, I hear you thinking, preacher, God has been faithful to me, but I have not always been faithful to God. I dare you to go into a season of prayer and say, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. I'm sorry uh, for my shortcomings. Try me once again. Glory to his name. For the Bible says in Romans 5, 8, and 9, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath, hallelujah, through him. I thank God for saving me. Hallelujah, I don't know about you, but I thank him for giving me another chance. He's been good to me. He set me free, and I've got a right to praise him. Yes, Lord. I don't have time, hallelujah, to fall anymore. So many are falling by the wayside. But Lord, help me to stand in these last and evil days. There's trouble everywhere. But I dare you to reposition your eyes and look toward Jesus. For he's the author and the finisher of our faith. For the Bible says in 2.24, to him who is able to keep you from falling. He's able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. I came to tell you my testimony that God kept me through it all. I can't tell you all that I've been around her and I think things over all of my good days I weigh my bad days and I won't I won't complain however if you find yourself in the 
wrong as long as you're still breathing you have a chance to get it right for the bible says first john two and one my little children i write unto you hallelujah that you sin not and if any man sin you have an advocate with the father jesus the christ jesus the one that died jesus the one that was ridiculed jesus the one that they talked about jesus he bled and died they put him on the cross yes they did put a crown on his head pierced him in his side and he died he died yes he did but on the third day he rose with all power redeeming power soul saving power blood washing power healing power delivering power way maker power yes lord and i dare you to call his name his name is jesus mary's baby jesus the chief cornerstone jesus my deliverer jesus my way maker jesus my way in jesus my way out ain't nobody like him he's god all by himself yes lord the bible says in psalms 103 8 through 11 the lord is merciful and gracious and slow to anger plenteous in mercy he will not always try neither will he keep his anger forever yes lord he have not dwelt with us after our sins nor rewarded us according to our iniquities for as the heaven is above high above the earth so great is his mercy toward them that fear him i thank god that i can reverence him i thank god that i can respect him for that word have i hid in my heart that i might not sin against him keep your eyes on jesus because he's keeping you through it all all that we're going through he's keeping us through it all we've been made into a fun night but help me say joy joy coming in the morning and everything will be all right tell your neighbor help is on the way jesus is on the way yes he is and he's coming to see about us he's coming to deliver us neighbor we must change our viewpoint of god encourage another neighbor and say neighbor keep your head up psalms 24 and 7 says lift up your hands all ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king the king of glory shall come in who is the king the king of glory he's the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle he is the lord of hosts and he kept me through it all through all the danger through all the mess through all the hurt through all the disappointment he kept me through it all i just want to call the road yes lord let's have testimony service god kept the hebrew boys hallelujah while they were thrown in the fire he kept daniel while he was in the lion's den he kept paul and silas while they were in prison he kept paul during Eurachlodon. he kept hallelujah the prodigal son even when he was out there and wasted all his spoils yes lord but i thank god for the roll call but i have my own testimony yes lord god's been good he's been kind yes lord you ought to take a moment and tell your neighbor your testimony take a moment and tell them i've been through the fire but i'm not burned i don't smell like smoke god kept me yes lord i thank god for all those testimonies but god kept me through it all
morning. Hallelujah. Many are going through so many things. And you haven't spoken to anyone about it. You've been in isolation. But I want to encourage you, even our children, hallelujah, to his name, that God is listening for your prayer. I want you to stay in communication with God because he's going to keep you through it all, through all your situations, through all your hurt, through all your disappointments. Hallelujah to his name. I want to encourage you not to worry, not to get ahead of God because God cares about you. He loves you. And I want to tell you, don't worry. God knows exactly where you are. Hallelujah to his name. Come on, help me sing. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, you've been going through. Don't worry. 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 not saved I want you to be saved on today a man named Jesus the Christ he died for your sins this is the gospel that we preach about hallelujah the death the burial and the resurrection of Jesus the Christ if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin I want you to pray this prayer with me father Lord, here I am, humbly as I know how. God, I'm a sinner, and I want to be saved. Oh, God, save me on today like only you can. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me of my unrighteousness. Oh, God, help me to walk after your ways. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ that he is Lord over my life from this day forward I denounce Satan right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and according to the scripture if we confess with our mouth and believe with our heart that Jesus was raised from the dead and he is Lord we are saved come on if you receive that prayer come on and praise him for your salvation praise him for your deliverance hallelujah oh don't worry don't worry
Remember that God is still a miracle worker. If you have a special prayer request, put it in the God's Got It box. Find us at www.brownmemorialcogic.org. There you will find the God's Got It box prayer request icon. Click the icon and fill out the prayer request form. Your prayer request will be given to the bishop and prayer warriors for intercessory prayer. Join us this Friday for evening prayer. You may dial 701-802-5360 and use the access code 72930022. Select pound. Prayer will begin at 7 p.m. We invite you to sow a seed with us. Find us on the Gillify app. You can find us by name, Brown Temple Church of God in Christ, or by address 2313 East 27th Avenue, Tampa, Florida. You can also send your gift to P.O. Box 8277, Tampa, Florida 33674, or set up a bank payment to the same P.O. Box listing. Come to Sunday School. Join us for virtual Sunday school on Sundays, 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. The Sunday school facilitator and Zoom meeting numbers are listed on our Sunday school flyers, which can be found on all our social media outlets. There are several ways for you to join us for Sunday school. You can use your personal computer, a cell phone, or any handheld device. Simply go to the Zoom website or download your Zoom app. Sign up and select join a meeting type in the meeting id for the sunday that you will be attending if you ask for a password just remember john 3 16. we look forward to seeing you in sunday school you can follow us on facebook instagram and youtube you can find us at brown memorial c-o-g-i-c don't forget to subscribe like and share until next time watch fast and pray. Live saved every day and remember God loves